As a pianist, Childs has performed with, among others, Yo-Yo Ma, Sting, Renee Fleming, the Los Angeles Philharmonic, the Detroit Symphony, Chick Corea, the Kronos Quartet, Wynton Marsalis, Jack DeJanet, the Dorian Wind Quintet, Ying Quintet, Ying Quartet, excuse me, the American Brass Quintet, and Dave, and Hall, Dave Holland, among so many others. Open Studio, please help us welcome the great Billy Childs to our masterclass today. Give it up. Billy, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing great. Wow. Um, that, that, that was really nice of you to mention all that. Um, I, um, and it was the first time I got silent applause. You know, I saw the hands <laughs> move, but... It's a whole other thing, <laughs> silent applause. That's, I know. This is our, 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 our brief, new but brief paradigm. That's right. You know, uh, but right now, let's bring on one of our students. Our first student up is Jenny, Jenny Wilson. I will unmute you. How are you doing, Jenny? I'm good. How are you, Adam? I'm great. So I have your composition Zamba. Mm -hmm. I'm going to play this YouTube video that you shared with me, Jenny. And then uh, I will share my screen here so we can follow along. And Jenny, I might just do, just for time's sake, to, so we can get to as many people as possible, just do the head uh, and then, and then we I was can, hoping you would do that. <laughs> we can talk about it uh, after we hear the head. So I'll share my screen now. It's a beautiful song. Uh, da, da. One one thing I like to do um, is a strong melody, and um, and actually, I mean, I I approach uh, compositions. Um, uh, melodically. I mean, that's my way in. I feel like the, the, the melody communicates to the listener, uh, just like a beautifully constructed sentence in a speech, you know, music, if music is a language, then melody is like kind of like a sentence in that language. Um, and so the, the melody is very clear uh, and very, very strong. I, as a composer, I tend towards uh, asymmetry. Um, I like things that don't even out and I get a sense that this is kind of um, it, it um, it's very symmetrical sounding to me uh, uh, and I would I if if it were me I might uh, elongate some of the the, 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 the phrases uh, You know, 
maybe um, add a, a measure or two somewhere uh, just to, 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 to give it a little bit more of a, um, like kind of a, a shape that doesn't sound um, it's so like uh, squared off. Um, uh, I'm trying to say things nicely, you know, rather than <laughs> like, uh, like. Um, I, I, I appreciate that. I, I, I hear that. Um, but yeah, uh, it's, uh, but I, I like the changes also. Um, I like that, that they go to unpredictable yet um, logical places, you know. <laughs> going on to the bridge. Duh. I like this um, fifth type of uh, that. I think you might be able to do a little more with that. Um, uh, da, da, da. Uh, and, and one of my favorite suspensions is like the major seven to the dominant seven suspension. So you have. voice movement might be nice. So you have um, a uh, duh. So you have that E in the middle, like you have the E below the A flat in, in, in the F chord. Um, uh, descent, um, and it resolves down to the E flat. And then when you get to the um, B major seven, uh, sharp 11 over B flat, that E flat is still there, and that E flat, that B flat, I mean, that E flat can resolve to D, you know? So you start thinking in terms of like, you, if you have a strong melody, start thinking in terms of counter melodies also. Uh, counter melodies that can um, kind of enhance the melody or comment on the melody, and it, it, it adds, it, it creates a nice counterpoint um, to what what you're doing. It's, it's kind of like another voice. Um, and a good rule of thumb, like I mentioned earlier, in terms of counter melodies, is trying to find those counter melodies that, and this is not a hard and fast rule, but it works for me. Um, those counter melodies that land on third, sixth, or tenths, you know, because they, it, it, it makes things kind of seem like they fit. Uh, when things, especially when you're dealing with parallel motion in, in terms of two melodies happening at the same time, and they both land on a fifth or a fourth or an octave, like basically perfect, perfect intervals, that, that sometimes is jarring, you know, which is why they tell you in basic theory to avoid perfect fourths and, and fifths like that. Um, not, not to say that you did that, I'm just saying that that's, a good rule of thumb to follow. Um, um, counter melodies that also have contrary motion to the, the main melody. So if your melody is going like, uh, you know, one is going up, the other is going down. It's, it makes for for um, more interesting stuff. Uh, so anyway, do you do you have any feedback from my feedback? Well, um, it's great to meet you and hear your music. Um, I love Map to the Treasure. I I love Laura Nero, and so I just wanted to thank you for that album. And um, it's it's been really a great experience for me because I, I have listened to her all my life. 
And so all her albums are in my brain. And so when I first heard yours, I was like, oh, but, but the yeah. more I listen to it, the more I love it. And there are parts of it that just make me weep. Uh, well, thank you so much for giving us this time and this uh, amazing class uh, just for all of our members here you know we're going to keep doing we just think this is such a cool thing that we've been doing that we've stumbled upon here in the in the lockdown so we're going to keep doing at least one of these a month is what we're is what we're attempting to book uh, we have some some great great musicians on deck uh, you can check that out uh, when you visit uh, uh, openstudiojazz.com slash live uh, and some of those are not announced yet but you're going to really like what we have in store for you so Stay tuned for all that, and yeah, we need to work. We need to work to book uh, to book Mr. Childs back again for a part two very, very soon. Thank you, Billy, for your time today. Thank you so much. Thank you, everybody, for spending this time with us. Uh, have a great rest of your day. Stay safe and healthy.